left-hander Carlos Rodon is going to be on the mound against the Astros to finish off this four-game set in the Bronx. Five starts this season. Again, started the season on the injured list with the left forearm strain, working his way back. One and four on the season with a 6.29. He has allowed six home runs in 24 and a third innings pitched, and the strikeout to walk ratio doesn't favor him. A little wild with that fastball slider. Altuve is ready. Rodon is ready. And let's do it here at Yankee Stadium. First pitch swung on and lofted to right field. Bader comes over and calls off Stanton. One pitch, one out. One out and nobody on for Alex Bregman, Astros third baseman. 0 for 10 in this series. Batting 247 on the year, 346 on base percentage, 18 homers. Strike three. Bregman down looking. Up in the count, 3 0. And he ends up striking out. Well, really good fastball, and this was perfect mechanics. You see the pitch, even though Higgy had to reach back, it was on the inside part of the plate. That was a strike. So two out of nobody on for Jordan Alvarez. Popped him up to shallow left. Kind of Falefa walks in to make the catch. A very easy inning and very low pitch inning for Rodon. And on the mound for the Astros, Jose Urquidy. It's been a while when well, we talked about it earlier. April 30th was the last start. It's three months ago, ERA. Bowers at 235, 11 homers, 24 RBIs. And that's hit high in the air to center. It sends back Myers, waiting for it to come down. And he makes the catch, crowd number one. Judge hitting 283, 403 on base percentage, 20 homers, 42 RBIs. Ninth game he's played since coming off the injured list. There he goes, swing and a miss. Jose Urquidy with that same pitch that he got ahead with Aaron Judge. Strikes him out for his first strikeout since April. Torres 266, 17 homers, 46 RBIs. Swung on and hit to deep right center field. It is high, it is far, it is gone. Well, we say it all the time when he hits to right and right center. He is really special. It's Glaber Day. He homers again and again to right center. And like a good Glaber, Torres is there. And the Yankees take a 1 0 lead. Stanton, right fielder, hitting 2 12. Ground ball left side to his left. Bregman, third baseman, has it and throws to first in time to retire the side. One thing we talked about is cutting down the walks. He had four in those four innings in his last start. He only averaged a little over two walks last year. He's up to almost six this year per nine. Eight pitches in the first inning, Jeff. 22 so far in this inning. And here's Myers. Jake Myers hits one high in the air to left field. Kiner Falefa back. He's at the wall. He will jump. It's gone! Jake Myers, a three-run home run to left. And the Astros jump in front three to one. How about Jake Myers jumping on one? Lofting it high and deep into left field. That pitch was up and in. He missed the forcing fastball out over the plate, but turns on this Carlos Rodon fastball up and in and puts the seventh home run on Rodon this season. Big three run jack. Yeah, LeMay, who realized his only hope was that it would roll foul because he wasn't going to get Altuve. So he just, just let it roll, even though the trajectory the whole way looked like it was going to stay fair. I mean, that was fair by a good six or seven feet. So Altuve on first base now to lead things off for Bregman. That ball into center field. Playable for Harrison Bader. Altuve is going to tag this ball fairly deep. Altuve is going to go for it. Here comes the throw. And it's not picked cleanly by Glaber Torres. And Altuve reaches second. That was quite a gamble by Jose, and it pays off. Yeah, if Torres fields that cleanly, they have a shot at Altuve at second base. He was trying to get it on that short hop and then swipe tag in one motion. Now Jordan Alvarez with a runner in scoring position. Astros like when this scenario happens. There goes Altuve. The pitch is a strike. The throw is high into left field. Altuve can try and score, but he didn't see the ball. Altuve did not see the ball in time. Pettis was telling him to go home. And Altuve will stay at third with a stolen base. So the Yankees have to bring the infield up. They're down three to one as it is. Breaking ball pulled down the right field line. Backing up on it. Stan, she's gone. He made him pay. A two run shot to right field. 21st big fly for Jordan Alvarez and it's five to one on a bullet. Aaron Boone comes out. Higgy goes out. Trainer comes out. He's he's flexing his left foot something with it. he's trying to flex something out whether it's a cramp or a pull in the back and we were talking about he really doesn't get over his front leg you see how that leg that right leg hyper extends yeah that that didn't look great and that's going to do it you can see he was politicking to stay in Jeff but, but you're right Michael you got to be cautious 
precious. You can't have him injure that whether it's a left leg or right leg anymore. And then you're gonna you're gonna have to worry if that if he's compensating for that leg. So just like that, I mean, just weird after Altuve made that great catch to get the first out, and all of a sudden, eight balls in a row. Yeah, now Harrison Bader comes to the plate as a tying run. That one is looped into left field. It is a base hit. Torres scores. LeMayu will stop at third. It's an RBI single from Bader, and the Astros now lead by three, five to two. And they get a base hit from Volpe or Higgy. They probably get out of this inning 5 4 or so, right back in the game. So, a couple of big at bats coming up. And it hits him. That'll bring in a run. It's an RBI for Volpe, and it's 5 3 Astros. So, the Astros had a 5 to 1 lead. It's starting to see this slip away. Back to the top of the order, and here is Jake Bowers. And the payoff is way outside. So, a run scores. Bowers gets an RBI on the bases loaded walk. The Yankees trail 5-4, and who's up? Aaron Judge. I mean, the joint is jumping. It really is something to see the entire stadium. You know, 41, 45,000 here, something like that. And they're all standing. Way outside. Tie ball game. That'll force in a run. Bader touches up, and it's 5-5. The Yankees have scored four runs in this inning. The last three without even a hit. So runners at the corners and one out for Jake Myers hit a three run home run in the second inning that got the Astros scoring started and he crushes one high and deep to left field back goes Kiner Falefa his second three run home run of the day Jake Myers a six RBI day a career afternoon at Yankee Stadium it's eight five Astros and here is Martin Maldonado he has struck out and walked today and that's hammered deep to left field by Maldonado hooking down the line if it's fair it's gone and it's fair into the second deck back to back Jacks first Myers now Maldonado nine to five Astros Yankees have two men on with one out for their hottest hitter Glaber Torres Torres two for three today including a homer he scored twice that one is ripped down the left field line. It is a fair ball. It'll go into the corner. Scoring easily is Bowers. Judge will stop at third. It's an RBI double for Glaber Torres. And the Yankees now trail by three, nine to six. Well, 10 walks by Houston pitching. Bases are loaded. Now here is Bader. That one is looped into right field. It's going to dunk in for a base hit. One run scores. It's an RBI single for Bader. And it's 9 7 Astros. The Astros are one out away from winning this ball game. Labor Torres, the hottest hitter for the Yankees, stands in. He already has a homer today. And a pitch clock violation. Labor Torres with the walk. Wow. The tying runs are on base, and the winning run is at the plate. Giancarlo Stanton. The Yankees have left a small village on the bases. Can they come through here? Fly ball, center field. Myers, can he see it? Shields his eyes near the warning track, and that will do it in a crazy Sunday afternoon in the Bronx as Giancarlo Stan hits what about 400 feet to straightaway center field, and the Astros survive 9 to 7 on a day where they walk 12. Blummer, what a wild one!